I'm Katie of Bonapasta. I'm going to show you how to make homemade egg pasta from scratch. All you need is a rolling pin and a knife. So the flour we're going to be using is called double zero, which is extra fine. The most comparable substitute would be all purpose. So you most likely have that in your pantry. I've got my helper here today. All right, let's get started. So we're doing one cup of flour two eggs and half of a teaspoon of salt. So you're just gonna put your flour down and make a well with the bottom of your measuring cup or your fist. Now I'm gonna crack each egg into my flour well. Hi, hi, good boy. So now I'm adding about a teaspoon of salt so once all your ingredients are added, you're gonna start scrambling your egg within your well. So once your eggs are scrambled, you're gonna start bringing the flour into your well a little bit at a time and start mixing together. Soon your egg mixture will resemble like a pancake batter and you won't have to worry about your eggs escaping your well. And just keep adding your flour in to the center of your mixture. So at this point, I like to use my vent scraper. So this is just really a good tool to start with the initial kneading. And you can find this on my Amazon shop, which will be in the caption. So the kneading method is top over itself, turn, top over itself, turn. First, I'm gonna just kind of break this up and now we're gonna start our kneading. And this kneading method is to activate your gluten and that is what provides that stretch and pliability to your dough. Once you kind of have a solid piece, it's gonna still be wet, um, I usually start using my hands. Same kneading method, you're just gonna to do top over itself and then using the heel of your palm you're gonna push it into it. The egg is being incorporated into your flour, so the more you need, the more flour you're going to need. Hi, Moose. Good boy. All right, so top over itself. Just keep doing this method, and you can see it's already forming a nice piece of dough. So at this point, I'm going to just Okay, we're gonna continue our kneading. So your dough consistency is going to depend on several things, your environment and the humidity or dryness in wherever you're making your pasta. It also depends on the size of your eggs. Every egg is a different size. So as you're kneading, this should not be sticky and stick to your finger. If it is, you just add a little flour, a little at a time, and continue your kneading. Now you can see it's starting to stick to me. I'm gonna add a little more flour. So this kneading motion is gonna go for five to seven minutes. And once you're done, this dough should be smooth to the touch and your dough should bounce back with a finger poke and that's what tells you that the gluten has been activated. So now you can see it's nice and soft. Here's our two egg pasta dough and we're gonna let this rest for 30 minutes covered at room temperature. You can also use plastic wrap, a Ziploc bag, whatever you want, just cover it so that no air can get onto your dough. Once our dough ball has rested, we are going to roll it out and cut it by hand. You can use any kind of rolling pin. You can use a wine bottle if you don't have a rolling pin. It just might take a little extra effort. We're gonna use a good amount of flour so that it does not stick to our rolling pin and it also does not stick to our table. Okay, and I'm gonna turn it sideways. All 
right, so now using a knife, we're gonna cut our pasta. And we're gonna start folding our pasta over itself until we get to the center. Same thing on the other side. So now we've got our pasta folded over itself and using a nice sharp knife, we are going to cut our pasta. So I like to just trim the edges so that they're nice and straight. Same with this side. So I'm gonna make these more like a fettuccine with So now what you're going to do is using the blunt edge of your knife, you are going to just slide it right under your pasta so that this one half is just sitting on your knife. And now you're just going to let it fall. And you've got your fresh pasta. So I'm just going to put it on top of itself. And fold it over so now this pasta is ready to cook immediately for three to five plus minutes depending on how thin or thick you rolled it I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe I would love to have you join the pasta club with Buona Pasta, and I'll see you guys next time